Robert Biggie Rodriguez. <laughs> Daniel Cortez. <laughs> Cerveza Quinones. <laughs> and Melissa Hogan. <laughs> and also our special guest, Robert Garcia Cordone. Thank you, Robert. <laughs> well, I wanted to first say that it, it's a pleasure and a privilege to be sitting next to this man next to me. You know, Robert Garcia is uh, one of those epic people in boxing, and I just can't go unnoticed. He's a former world champion, he's trainer of the year, also, um, you know, he's created and the founder of RGBA. So I want to give a warm welcome to Robert Garcia for coming out for this press conference. Before I before uh, I start, you know, uh, I know there's a big list, and you know, uh, all the fighters are on stage. Uh, one that's not here because he's in training camp, is Pantelita Martinez. I just want to make sure, you know, he's also mentioned because he's going to be one of the one of the guys on our card, also. Thank you, Robert. He actually said that because I had a hard time seeing that name, so sorry about that. <laughs> um, I do want to do a special shout out for all of our sponsors who actually make this possible for us. So I want to do a special shout out for Gamez Law Firm for their tremendous support. Also want to thank Victor Contes from Snack Nutrition, the next generation of sports nutrition, OCI Consulting, Espinosa, Espinosa Law Firm, Hector Vasquez in Sweat Boxing in Dallas, and also Oasis Water. And again, a special thanks to Dame's Law Firm. Thank you. So what we're going to do, folks, I know there's some press and a lot of fans here today, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand a mic to Leticia, and she's going to go around with the crowd, and we want to hear from you. We want to hear the questions you have for all of our fighters and our guests. So Leticia, are you ready? All right, we're going to do some, we're going to walk around and get some questions. So put your hands up and ask us anything. We'd, be love, to, we'd love to answer your questions. Questions, put your hands up, then we're gonna let the fighters talk. One to the right. Hey Robert, I just want to ask you, um, what is putting on your show in Texas mean to you in San Antonio? Uh, to be exact, what is, what does San Antonio mean to you? I know you come from California, but what is what does the fan base here in San Antonio bring to the bring to the table? You know what, I I, I fought in San Antonio uh, a couple times and uh, it was always great you know San Antonio always showed me nothing but love uh, when my brother fought here a couple times also you know the, the, the support the love we get from from San Antonio fans is just unbelievable and uh, you know as a trainer uh, my three fighters that I picked up from San Antonio you know two of them are already world champions the other one's gonna headline our next show here uh, in November so you know there's so much talent and so much love for boxing that I, I want to continue doing this. I want to do this for many, many years, you know, with, with all these young fighters uh, coming up. And I know there's there's many, many more that I would have loved to put on the card because, uh, you know, uh, San Antonio has a lot of talent, but I can't, you know, there, we can't uh, put everybody up in one card. That's why I, I want to come back. I want to continue doing this, you know, at least six times a year. You know, there's so much talent. They don't. They don't all have to be my fighters. You know, there's a couple of them on, on this card that are not my fighters, but they're local, and uh, and and we're giving them the opportunity. So I want to continue doing this. Hopefully, we get the, the support from all you guys, and uh, and come uh, November 18th, people come out and show us 
that uh, that they want us back, and uh, that's what we're gonna do. Cause uh, you know I want I want to build champions. Uh, I already have two two champions from San Antonio out of uh, the the champions that San Antonio has produced. Two are are, are are my fighters. So you know the rest, you know as many as we can. I want to continue bringing this you know champions to San Antonio because I know I can. Yes, sir. Uh, I guess this goes out to both uh, Robert and Hector. Uh, based uh, on the fight from last night with Devin Haney, do you see him um, signing any kind of a deal to fight Devin Haney if he does not move up? You know what? Um, I didn't. I didn't get a chance to watch the Devin Haney fight because that's when I was traveling into. Uh, to Texas uh, yesterday, but uh, but you know what? Uh, it's it's in that weight division where it's stacked with talent. Um, it doesn't have to be Devin. There's so much talent in, at 135, and uh, you know with Hector coming up a draw, you know I, th I think uh, you know we're gonna build up a couple of fights before anything big. Uh, you know, obviously if, if if we if we get the call. And and uh, doesn't have to be Devin Haney, but it could be any any top prospect at 135. It's probably it's probably something that we definitely have to consider. But at at, at this point, I want to bring bring uh, Hector back slowly. I don't want to rush him. I think he needs uh, a couple fights here locally, and and then we'll, we'll move on to something big. Good question.